Okay, I have the seven and eight year old class, and we've been doing more of um, what you would call conceptual teaching, more of concepts than individual stories, um, working individual stories into the larger concepts. Um, so we're just going to show you just a few snippets of some things that we've been working on since um, the last presentation, and then we'll do promotion at the end. Many years ago, God created man, and all along he had a special plan. He made Adam's heart completely white, all was pure, and all was right. He lived in a beautiful garden with his wife, fruit trees, and animals. It was quite the life. No bad thoughts or one guilty feeling, no wrong moves, lying or stealing. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. But it all changed one horrible day when Eve went against what God did say. She listened to the snake and finally gave in, took the fruit, bit into it, and committed sin. God kicked them both out of his garden, and they received a curse with no pardon. From this moment on, every child born would have a carnal heart to moan. Children didn't need to be taught how to be naughty and lie when caught. This carnal heart keeps parents busy training and disciplining until they are dizzy. Wherefore, as by one man's sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. But there comes an age of accountability when right and wrong they now can see. If they should choose to do wrong, that carnal seed grows very strong. Roots begin to whirl in the ground, and a tall tree bearing sin can be found. The roots keep growing thick and deep with every sin, and more they must reap. And God answered them, Verily, verily, who shall I say unto you, Who shall ever commit sin is a servant of sin? Then one day the voices the voice of God is clear, repent of your sins and come near. When you tell God sorry and from sin turn away, he'll forgive you when him to you you pray. He'll cut down that tall, simple tree and clean your heart of all the debris. But there's something there that remains. The seed of carnality still causes pain. As far as the east is from the west, he hath, he hath removed the transgressions from us. In order to be perfect as God intended, your heart must be completely mended. The, whole, the old carnal nature has to come out to be holy and pure without a doubt. This is, this is full salvation. The way God desires, justified and sanctified, is what he requires. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet now I, but Christ liveth in me.
seven things that God hates? Proverbs 16. 16. 16. These six things that the Lord hates, yea, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, a hand that shed innocent blood, a heart that defies with wicked imaginations, a flea that be swift in directing to mischief, a dog swift in that speed of lies, and he that will the discord among brethren. Very good, very good. Uh, I'm just going to pause real quick because sometimes they learn scriptures, but they don't know what it means. So, um, abomination. Who can tell me what abomination means? Who remembers? Brent? Extreme hatred. Okay, extreme hatred. So, not just hatred, but extreme hatred. That These are the things that God hates extremely. Um, we talked about the last one, which is sowing discord among brethren. Who can tell me what... Discord is. What's another word for discord? Division. Division. And how do we sow discord among brethren? What was the way that we talked about? Saying something bad that someone did, but they didn't actually do it. Okay. And then there's also a word that starts with G. Gossip. Okay. Okay. Um, we talked about a lying tongue. There was a story we did that went with a lying tongue. Anyone remember the story that went with the lying tongue? <laughs> what was it? Ananias and Sapphira. Okay, Ananias and Sapphira. And who did they lie to? Did they lie to the apostle? Who did they lie to? Madison. Who did they lie to? Um, was it the apostle? Who lied to the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost. To the Holy Ghost. Okay, we talked about... Um, just the different aspects of that verse went through that. I won't go through the whole thing now. And then we just have... Okay, and then we just have one more little treat for you guys. It's going to be Hebrews 13.8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Has he so as the peaceful?